Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Eric here, guys, with the TRD Squad, bringing you guys my, my updated version of Master Duel here. I haven't played in a while. Uh, but I decided to get back into it, you know, just to play again, especially, like, with the Fusion Festival going on. I'm going to showcase you guys today my Cyber Dragon deck here. And we're going to go and do the profile real quick here. So, for the most part, this deck is composed of just purchasing three of the Cyber Dark Structure decks that were just made available to us not so long ago. And then, just, like, with very, very few upgrades here... Like, as far as all these cards here, you can... Well, other than my hand traps here, I had to generate those. But for the most part, all these other cards I were actually just available in the Cyber Shark Structure deck. Well, the only thing from the main deck that wasn't available would be, like, the Kaijus and Team Dupe. And I believe everything else was... Maybe not Cyber Emergency. I'm not sure about Cyber Emergency. Oh, yeah. So it's actually in the Cyber Nair Structure deck. Yeah, so the only cards that I generate in the main deck were the Kaijus and the Machine Dude. Uh, for the extra deck, almost everything was found in the structure deck except for like the Cyber Eternity Dragon. You do have to um, generate your Comrade Rampage Dragons or purchase them to do it. Uh, also, the Fortress Dragons, I had to, uh, had to generate those, as well as the Over Dragon. But other than that, though, everything was. Oh, and also the Comrade. Dragon. If you're going to play in the Fusion Festival, though, I don't necessarily think you need this card here. And the reason why is because everybody's playing Fusions. So nobody is, nobody is placing their Fusion Monsters in the extra Monster Zone. They're placing them in the, main, in the main Monster Zone. I have yet to use this card at all out of 14 duels. I've only dueled 14 times. I have 12 wins, 2 losses. And I've yet to use this card at all. This one has come up quite a bit because of the Kaiju. So yeah, just Kaiju and like their DPE and then using it all. Or Contact Fusion. Right, like Fortress Dragon. So that's come up quite a bit as well. Um, but anyways, guys, for the deck, though, let's just get into it real quick. Playing three Hearse, two Naxter, uh, three Maxi, because we're going second. So any cards that we can draw into if this card resolves, right, really helps us out quite a bit. Uh, three Core, three Claw, two Chimera, uh, three Cyber Dragon, two of the Kaijus, two Machine Dupes. Even though we're not playing the XYZ cards, the more Cyber Dragons we can put on field for, like, Overload, Fusion, or Power Bond, just a lot better to get us in place. That's why we're still playing Machine Dupe. Uh, one power bond, one overload fusion, three cyber emergency, cyber repair plant, three cybernetic horizon, two cyber dark realm, uh, two cyber low fusion, three emperor. And I, I now always like to play the one cybernetic overflow. It's just a really good card. If you open it up, it's a really good card because um, you can't OTK your opponent. You can always just set this and then just pop some cards on your opponent's card as well. So and then if, if this card gets popped, anyways, you get to add a cyber spawn drop from deck to your hand. So yeah, very, very good card to always play as a one up. Um, the reason we're playing 3 Cybernetic Horizon is because this gives us access to Power Bond, but it's also a really good card to get it access into Cyber Dragon Core. Don't have it. Like in reality, in this deck, we're playing three, or playing nine copies of Cyber Dragon Core because we've been playing the three copies of Core itself. Three Cyber Emergency, which can search it, and also the Cybernetic Horizon, which can also search it. Like if you don't know what this card does, it says uh, send two Dragon and or Machine Cyber Monsters to the graveyard. One deck. And then you get to add one dragon or machine cyber monster from your deck to your hand. So this card can actually search your core. So that's the reason why we're playing three of. And also it's just quick access to. Um, for the extra deck, guys, we're playing three Comrade Rampage, the Cyber Twin Dragon, uh, two Comrade Fortress Dragon, the one Over Dragon, the two Cyber End Dragon, the Mega Fleet Dragon, and then of course the two Dragons. And technically you just need one of these, but I had an extra copy and I had plenty of space to fill. Now, if there's any changes that I would make, it would probably be just to add, like, DPE. A DPE is just a really good card, though, but unfortunately, I don't have any more credits to generate it. Um, yeah, I used all my credits trying to generate the, um, was it, the Sword Soul cards. And I will be, I will be bringing a Sword Soul uh, deck here in the future, probably by, probably next week I'll bring it out. This is the deck I've been playing. I've been playing that one on Ranked, and I have a lot of success with it. Um, so yeah, I'll probably bring that next week. I'm going to bring it to a couple of duels here, showcase you guys what this uh, Cyber Dark deck can do. So for my first video, guys, I'm going to showcase to you guys a Cyber Dark deck going against a Dino deck. Now, if you're playing the Fusion Festival, you're probably going to experience what I'm experiencing. Is that we're playing, I mean, I'm playing a lot of decks that aren't even Fusion decks. Uh, it's just like people just making decks that don't require any Fusion monsters or any extra deck monsters whatsoever. Like I've been playing a lot of True Draco. And I'm happy to say that I have yet to lose to True Draco at all. So my opponent's going to go first. He's going to set two and pass turns to me. 
Um, you know, I've also played a couple of these dino decks as well. But this is a dino deck here that I'm playing. I don't open up good at all. I don't have anything I can play with here. Well, technically I did. I just remember. I actually did have access to... I actually had game here, honestly. I could have normal summon Chimera. Chimera pitch Horizon to Graveyard to add the Power Bond. Then I had three Cyber Dragons in my hand that I could have easily sent to the Graveyard for Fusion Material. All my opponents to back row and swung in for game with four 200 attack needs. The Chimera tech would have been able to attack three times, but I misplay here completely. I completely just misplay. I was like focused on trying to get Cyber Dragon Horizon to resolve that I just completely misplayed here. So I use Nasher's effect to pitch Hurst to Graveyard Hurst to add Cyber Dragon. And then I'm going to go ahead and tribute some <laughs> Cyber Dragon out. And I swing it for 21 attack. So, huge misplay on my part. One is going to draw into Fossil Dig, which is probably the card that he was missing last turn. Going to add Mist to hand. Mist is going to go ahead and send itself to the graveyard. Making all of his dinosaur cards uh, unaffected by card effects or activated effects. Going to banish Mist to special summon out the Archosaur. Archosaur to pop one card in hand to add the pill. He ends up popping his Baby Sarasaurus. We're going to get that on a different, a different game here. Baby Sarasaurus will go ahead and summon out the Ovi Raptor. Ovi Raptor is going to go ahead and add UC. I was going to uh, use Ovi Raptor to pop the Archosaur to Baby Sarasaurus. Then he does a tribute summon here of Driver. Really didn't have to, I guess, yeah, I guess he just wanted to get the Baby Sarasaurus back to the, the Grave Rat Summon. I'm going to go UCT to pop a T to flip my card face down to special summon up tops here. My opponent actually had game here. Um, he could have just attacked everything in that game, but he decides to do like a really move, a move that I didn't quite understand. Unless he can attack with Pranker Tops, so I don't know if he can. Oh, I'm sorry, no, but he cannot attack this turn. Okay, yeah, so he didn't have game. I thought he had game, though. I forgot about the Petit, uh, the petit card effect, or the restriction on it. He's going to activate Super Poly and make Mud Dragon of the Swamp. I guess he just decides to use this like a, you know, measure just to protect his um, cards here. Now i got to play through a prank and a set card that I don't know what it is. Then I'm going to activate Mud Dragon in the main, in the standby phase. Declare a light, making all of his light as well. They're going to go ahead and activate an extra effect again. Pitch Hurst to the graveyard. Extra's going to summon out OG Cyber Dragon. Hurst is going to add me the OG Cyber Dragon. And so, like, right now, I'm just trying to bait out his... Right. I went to Contact Fuse here, and I thought because all these monsters were light, I could fuse with them. But I guess not, though. So, my Dragon of the Swamp, it says um, two monsters with the same attributes, but uh, sorry. your opponent cannot target this card or monsters on the field with the same attribute as this card. Um, with card effects, also once per turn, quick effect, you can declare one attribute. This card becomes attribute at the end of this turn. So yeah, even though this card was a light, I was trying to contact fuse with it, but it wouldn't let me. So yeah, I just forced to make the make Fortress Dragon with just two monsters, giving it 2,000 attack. Then I'm going to go ahead and attack over his Mud Dragon here. I activate Claw's effect here. I'm still just trying to bait out my opponent. Pranker Tops here, and that's Cyber Dark Realm here. He's going to go ahead and use Pranker Tops, pop itself, pop Realm. So like I said, the reason I like playing 3 Cybernetic Horizon, guys, is because he gives you access to Core here. Sorry, so I haven't normal summoned yet. So we're going to go and activate Horizon. I'm going to pitch Shower Dragon, pitch Claw. I'm going to go ahead and add Core. And we're going to go ahead and pitch the uh, Returning Dragon from Deck 2, from Extra Deck 2, Graveyard. I'm going to summon out Core. I'm going to go ahead and add, since I've already used up my Battle Phase, you know, the best card to add right now would be Overflow. So I do have multiple Cyber Dragons with different levels in my Graveyard and on my field, so I can pop uh, three cards in my opponent. He draws into Feather Duster, going to activate. Feather Duster, I'm going to chain Overflow. Pop his set, pop his Ovi Raptor. Cool thing about this, too, is because Overflow stays on the field until the chain has completely resolved. So Feather Duster will pop our Overflow, allowing me to add Cyber Emergency from deck to hand. So get that pretty cool follow up, plus I clear out my point field. Yes, yeah, though, and you guys know where it is from here. I can go for game very easily because we got Chimera already in hand. I'll bring out Cyber Dragon. I'm sorry, draw out Cyber Dragon for turn. 
A normal summon at Chimera though. Pitch Cyber Merchant to the graveyard. I'm going to add Power Bond here. Now I decide to flex here, knowing that my, my card's going to gain attack equal to its original attack. So we're going to go to make our Chimera take over Dragon, just like the end. Swing it for a bunch of. You don't always get to make this card, but when you do, it feels pretty good because it kind of reminds me of. But yeah, swing it for 12,800 attack. And that was with me just at barely 800 life points, right? My opponent almost had me there. Able to come back with Cyber Dragons, get that huge LTK, go for game. Got one more replay for you guys though before this video. If you're still watching this, I appreciate it. Guys. Watch this skill as well. Let me showcase you guys now a, a Cyber Dragon versus, I believe it's um, Brandon or Despia. Not necessarily Albas because we don't have access to Albas, I should say. But we got access to Luber, which also is also a really good card. Oh. My opponent goes first here. Uh, gonna activate Branded Opening. I'm gonna max C to it. Fortunately, though, my opponent does have the answer to Max Mesh Blossom Angel. <laughs> it's very, I, mean, I never get to get Max E to resolve, but when it does, it is pretty. But regardless, though, like I was able to remove Ash from Pants, so now Cyber Merchant Seal you know, should be able to resolve on my turn. I'm gonna bring out the Drama Church of Despia. Normal Summon a Luber. I have Imprint that. My opponent has one card in hand, so, you know, anything that I can. I mean, Imprint is really good here because. That's gonna have, he's going to have less access to his um, spell cards that I'm in. He's going to go ahead and set one in past turn. I'm going to go ahead and summon out Core here. I'm sorry, I'm going to go ahead. We draw into Core, normal summon Core out. Add Realm. I'm going to go ahead and activate Realm here. Chimera. Realm secondary effect, going to uh, summon out the Chimera. I'm going to pitch one side of emergency to add the power bond. And then I realized that I needed another uh, cyber dragon, so I'm going to activate the second side. See, I did misplay though. It's like, well, it wasn't necessarily a misplay because it still ends up being the same, the same thing, anyways. But yeah, I could have already had cyber dragon out on field, but yeah, it wasn't a misplay because we still come out with this. Yeah, I'm going to add cyber dragon, going to activate power bond next, and going to use something here into our first camera take rampage dragon. So I attempt to activate Chimeratex effect here, guys, to pop his back row. And he's going to go ahead and change Drama Church here, negating Rampage effect. So unfortunately, this card will not be able to attack three times this turn. But I still have Cyberload Fusion in hand, though, so that's still pretty good. Yeah, and just for fun, I decide to activate its effect. You know, we're going to Battle Phase Attack over as a Luber. I'm going to activate Cyberload Fusion here. Cyberload Fusion. So if you're wondering why this card gets to resolve, because this card is supposed to shuffle cards back into the deck, though. But we've already activated Chimera's effect and successfully resolved it as well. So I'm still allowed to banish cards from my graveyard for a fusion summon, even though this card can only shuffle them into the deck, right? Chimera's effect will extend that or allow me to, like, you know, banish cards. So that's the reason why I'm able to activate it and resolve it here. So we're going to make our second Chimera Rampage. I'm going to try to activate its effect to pop his back row. My opponent then changed his back row, which ends up being branded in red. So he's going to add a Luber back to hand and make a fusion summon here. I'm going to make his Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. This is a really, really good card here on the Drama Church will uh, um, bring itself out from the graveyard because it was used for a fusion sign. Now I'm going to go to my main phase, activate Rampage's effect. Even though I can't attack, I mean, I've already, you know, I've already gone through my battle phase here, but you know, being able to activate the effect, guys, you want to send your Hurts. You want to send a Hurts in Quarter Graveyard just so you can add support back to hand. That way you got some follow up for next. So that was the reason why for that. Then during my end phase, I'm going to take 2100 damage from Power Bond, so putting me down. 4,700 4, life. One is going to draw one card, set it. I'm going to go into his battle phase, attack over my Rampage Dragon, then attack over my Chimera. I don't know why I activate Chimera's effect here. I thought it was going to let me do something else, but I forgot. Uh, oh, this is just in a card of Graveyard, so I end up taking 700 damage. So now I'm going to go ahead and act. I'm going to go ahead and. Um, 
Activate Camera takes Rampage effect here just to send two cards to the graveyard so that we can get um, two more attacks this turn. Normal Summon Out Core, activate its effect, guys, to add a Cyber Low Fusion. And go into our battle phase here. Attack over his Masquerade Dragon. Now I completely forgot that Masquerade Dragon has that graveyard effect. So it has a, uh, let's see, quick effect of. All these cards in your grave. No, if your opponent controls a ritual fusion secret XYZ or link monster, all these cards in your graveyard quick effects, special permanent, but banish the of field. I completely forgot about that effect here. And my opponent's going to try to trigger the drama charge effect whenever he brings out the masquerade dragon. Unfortunately, though, my chromatic dragon has already resolved. So it would, even though with him negating it, it's still going to keep its um its effect, it's like the ability to attack three times because it's already resolved. So I'm going to go ahead and attack over his masquerade, attack over his drama charge. And then I'm going to finally activate my Cyber Load Fusion here in the battle phase, right to being on my Cyber Twin Dragon. And I'm going to get the two attacks per turn. Yeah. I want to showcase to you guys these duels because I thought they were pretty cool because it reminded me of the anime, right? We make our Cyber Twin Dragon here. We made our Over Dragon in the previous duel. Previous duel. Um, but that's basically been it, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm going to showcase to you guys the deck profile one last time in case you still want to see it. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for tuning into the channel. Thank you guys for, you know, taking some time out of your day to, to watch this video. And if you like what you saw today, guys, make sure you hit that like button down. Make sure you hit that like button down below. Also, if you haven't, man, just please subscribe to my channel, guys. It's just a super and easy way you guys can support me as a content creator and support this channel. And also, guys, comment down below if you're playing Cyber Dragon. I want to hear it. Um, if you're playing on Master Duel, let me know as well. Guys, let me know how you're running the deck. Let me know about what changes I can make to make the deck a little bit better. I'm always open to suggestions like that, guys. Really appreciate really appreciate them as well. But anyways, overall, just thank you guys for watching. If you're still here till the end, appreciate it. You guys are the best. But anyways, catch you guys on the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day.